Mallet Flux by Native Instruments and Sonuscore. This is a very interesting library and as they say it's more than just mallet. You get five different instruments including Glockenspiel, Celeste, Xylophone, Vibraphone and Marimba but you also have a sequencer, arpeggiator, some effects and a very very nice workflow. So let's dive in, get to know Mallet Flux. So Mallet Flux comes with two banks, the single and ensemble, and here in complete control we have a drop down and you can have presets for everything, ensemble or single. So let's select single and now we have the presets for a single instrument. Let's select one of them, for example xylophone hard long, let's play. And I can actually change the instrument and take lock and spill and just a trivia note here uh, most of the time the uh, the two are being mixed up so when you buy your kids a xylophone it's most of the time it's a glock and spill so uh, check it out and we have some key switches and they are mapped right now to C0, D0 and so on and if you have like me complete control you'll have the little LEDs lights here so you can see this maybe in uh, uh, on the left so it, it is colored red and I can key switch that uh, as I play. Now each of the instruments will have different key switches or different articulations. So I can select for example the Celesta here and I'll have a different set. So here we, we only have the soft long and reversed. And let's select xylophone, let's close this one and again a different set of presets or um, key switches, articulations. Right, and we have some controls here. So we have a simple envelope with attack and decay. And we have a choice of microphone. So we can have close mic or more roomy mic far. And of course, it will change the character of the sound completely. Let's try something else. Let's select the marimba. Right, very nice. And we have some effects here. So I'll click the effect and you'll have the replica delay and it can be synced or non-synced or free. And we can just set this to quarters. We have some feedback, return. And we also have a reverb. So you can select a type of reverb. We have four types here and we can have different controls. And this is pretty much it. So this is a single instrument, one of the five instruments, and it's pretty cool. So if you just want to have uh, you know, one of the instruments playing, you don't want the, the whole orchestra here, then that's uh, how you do it. And next, let's have a quick look at the ensemble. There we have more choices and more uh, workflow to go through, very, very cool stuff to see. So let's have a look. So now let's have a quick look at the ensemble. We'll click X here, select ensemble, and you'll see that we have sub banks. So these sub banks are a way for you to filter the presets, nothing more than that. And let's select something from the list. And this is how the ensemble looks like. So we have 
two views. We have the main view, this is what we see now, and we have a mixer. We'll go to the mixer a little bit later. So in the main view, we see five different slots. These are our instrument slots, and they don't have to be um, different from each other. I mean, you don't have to use each uh, of the five instruments. You can have the same instrument. For example, you can see that we have uh, two slots with marimbas. And now you can click this little light here to mute any of them. So nothing plays. Or you can have an, any selection of them. And so the idea here is that you can select any of the five very easily, clicking the name here and then select one of the five and select an articulation. And there you go. And then we can also click this uh, little um, magnifying glass that's the same as clicking the name. Next we have octave and we can set this to be either uh, plus two, three, four, or minus four. And we also have a very simple uh, settings here. We have envelope, we have filter, and we have modulations. The modulations will be either phasers, chorus, or flangers. Right, so very simple. And you can tweak this or you turn it on and off very easily. And we have here the filter, so this is the idea. Clicking the filter type here will give you a few options. So now let's have a look at the sequencer. So we'll click this sequencer here. Let's play something. So first of all, the sequencer is very uh, simple well we have the length the number of slots here so we can do this set it to four or maybe 24 then we can also set the rate so right now is one eighth we can have this faster and let's solo so right now we are just hearing this instrument the glockenspiel And as you can see, this will just be the volume of the instrument. Now, we have two rows, so what's that about? The upper row is what will happen when your mod wheel is all the way up. This is just the upper limit. So I can start with nothing and that's the role of the bottom row. So when uh, my mod wheel is all the way down I will hear nothing and when it's all the way up I will hear the full velocity. So let's hear that. Let me show you this in a more clear way. So right now this is basically saying nothing will play when the mod wheel is all the way down and everything will play full velocity when it's all the way up. But if I want to have something playing even if the mod wheel is all the way down then I can set this to be my lower limit where everything starts. And as I go up, I will have more velocity until the end. So I can actually limit this from various places like this. And, and now each of the slots will have different velocities to begin with and at the upper limit where the mod wheel is all the way up. One cool idea here is that if you have the lower row 
higher than the upper row, then you reverse the the uh, the idea here, and then everything just works in the opposite way. So this is a good um, idea to remember. And you can also use this uh, little thing here, the fill, to fill in the um, the whole sequence, and that's pretty cool as well. We can set the rate. And we have some other options like the octave ranges. Let's have more steps here. And we have repeats. And we can repeat this two times. For each of the slots here and so on. So this is pretty cool. And we have some global settings here. We can run this faster or slower. We can have a little bit of swing, humanizing. And uh, this is the idea behind the sequencer. So have fun with that. And of course, what you can do is you can go and select each of the other instruments that you set in the previous main view and work through them. So let's close this one. And we can have everything working together. And you can also see the dynamic mode here. This is to indicate where are you with the mode wheel. So uh, that's the idea here. And last but not least, we can have a quick look at the mixer again. And so the, the mixer is pretty simple. We have the levels, the volumes, we have panning, reverb and delay, the mic placement, and we have the outputs here that you can send if you uh, select uh, multiple outputs. We have insert effects here, equalizer, and we have send effects sorry, equalizer and a compressor, and then send effects. And we have the replica delay. So that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, just uh, to end this video, I'll play some of the presets so you can appreciate how the mullet flux sounds. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next videos.